Let me tell you, I've had a new face device for a long time, but have I been using it correctly? No. Have I been making the most of it? No. Have I learned some things along the way that I wanna share with you? Yes. And that's what I'm gonna cover in this video. These are gonna be things that you would not expect. The first thing I learned was from a YouTube channel. It's like Penny and she has skincare videos. She's an esthetician. She has consistently good content. You can tell she's sincere. She's not just trying to push stuff on you, which I appreciate. What I learned from her is that you can get better benefits with your new face by doing lymphatic massage before you new face. She realized this because she would get better results with her clients than she did at home. And she realized, wow, it's because I do lymphatic massage on them. And then that's how I learned about the book lymphatic massage. I think it's called something like that, which I, I'm in the process of reading, but reading slowly, to be honest with you. But that's one of those things. If you really want to get some substantial results, try that out. I'll link her video. Continuing on, using it every day. It really doesn't take much time. It's not that much of a commitment, but the game changer for me has been habit stacking this, which is from a book called Atomic Habits. I sound like I read a lot of books. I really don't, but <laughs> coming off with two first minute makes me seem very cerebral. Um, also, that word helps me sound, you know, cerebral. If you can use this every day, you are really going to see some benefits. But it's hard to use it every day. We forget. We get pulled in different directions. I found doing this right before or after I brush my teeth just makes it seamless. So I do it first thing in the morning, and it's... It's just a part of my routine now. So if I'm you watching this video, I'm thinking, clearly the new face isn't working on this girl's forehead. And you know why it's not working on my forehead? Because I haven't been using it on my forehead. I've really only been focusing on this part of my face. And you can see there's probably potential for me to test it on my forehead. I just didn't think I needed it. I mean, I look in the mirror. I don't have any deep set lines in my forehead. I think I'm good. I can skip it. Uh, let's add that to the list of <laughs> mistakes of the new face and things people don't realize is probably shouldn't have skipped steps. I probably shouldn't have skipped my forehead. Uh, now I'm aware that's, that's a definite area to use the new face. So other tip, you do not have to use the new face gel. I personally think it makes me break out though. I'm convinced basically everything makes me break out. I learned from TikTok somebody recommended using this water drench mask from Peter Thomas Roth. It's pretty thick, like the new face gel. I do wipe it off after I'm done with it and then wash my face, but it's pretty cost effective compared to the new face. As far as I'm concerned, it lasts a long time and you get the same benefits because it does not have oil in it. So if you do use an alternative to the new face gel, just make sure it doesn't have oil in it. Something else I've learned recently is that there's actually different settings with the new face. So this now is set up on the highest setting. I did not know about that, um, but there are different settings to the new face. I like to go hard or go home, so I have it at the highest setting. I don't know how much better that's gonna go, but I didn't know about that and I wanna share that with you too. One of the ways I realized that I'd not been using the new face to the full advantage was when I was researching how to do my makeup for my wedding. And there was this one YouTube tutorial I watched over and over and basically mimicked every single step. And one of those steps was using a microcurrent device. It was different than the new face, but let me tell you, made a huge difference for me. It gave me that lift, especially because I was using it consistently up to my wedding day. And if you want to look bomb, use your new face, you know, get it into your routine and then do it before your makeup. You will see a difference. Though subtle, it's a difference nonetheless. Another tip I've learned by doing all this research is uh, a lot of people have said that whenever they've used their microcurrent device in an area that they got Botox, Dysport, um, maybe they got filler, it impacts the results for that in not a good way. So if you say get some injections in your forehead and your under eye or your under eye or whatever, you probably want to avoid that area for the time being. Um, for at least a short time. You just wanna be aware of those areas and just take notice if it affects it. Turns out you can go above and beyond and use the new face device for up to 15 minutes. And turns out new face actually has tutorials to do this that involve your neck, your chin, go, it goes all out. And that's something that I'm looking forward to getting into in the near future here, um, just to really maximize the results with it. Um, and then lastly, just in case you didn't know, the new face device does come with a one year warranty. And when I first got the new face, 
Um, I hadn't been using it consistently and like six months, nine months and it broke. It just wasn't turning on and I uh, had bought it through Sephora. I contacted a new face manufacturer, showed proof of purchase and they sent me a brand new one with a new face gel and everything. So that's a great reason to buy it from a, a legit source, not on eBay, so that if something does happen, they will provide you a completely new device, which is really cool. So those are my tips with the new face. I think the biggest takeaway here is if you have a microcurrent device, do what you can, put systems in place so that you use it every day. I've got one of my favorite quotes from that book, Atomic Habits is, you do not rise to the level of your goals, you fall to the levels of your system. So create a system for you so that you use this device consistently and let me tell you, it really does make a great difference and in the most natural way. If you have tips of your own, please share the wealth. It helps us all so much because there's only so much time we all have to watch all these videos. So if you have tips of your own, please be sure to share with us. And if you wanna see videos from me in the future, we'd love for you to subscribe. And if you did like this video, please be sure to like it. It does, believe it or not, it does make a big difference. So thank you so much. I hope you have an awesome week and hope to see you next time.